here's my next little project this is a broken bolt you can see how it's been pulled apart there and where this goes is right here on the uh, lathe cross slide I kind of made a milling machine and a, a vise and it was I just over tightened these uh, the other one only had one side broke off so what I did I put it back there and welded it then ground it all down but uh, I'm going to improve this a bit and make another one. What this bolt does it goes through here and uh, when you tighten it up of course it locks the uh, I guess uh, what you call that it's not really a cross slide anyway this rotates and you lock it but inside here there's a round groove that goes all the way around and we've got a square bolt riding in a round groove it would look something like this you know, it's got a square thing going around in a round groove so it has to be small enough not to hang up in that circle of course this is a much bigger circle it's like six or eight inches so what I did I'm going to make a round headed bolt. Now this piece of drill rod I got I'm hoping it'll be strong and it's wide enough here for make the head of the bolt. So what I'm going to do is make one side of this convex and I want to make the other side concave. So I'm going to try to get as much of a head on the bolt as I can and uh, I don't know what that was made out of originally but I heard it snap I was tightening it pretty tight but uh, one of them always felt loose so I think one of them was broke to start with and I just finished it off but now I measured that and it's a 16 thread per inch I've turned this down left myself enough room to cut off that hole that I center drilled it it's the right outside diameter so now I'm going to set it up and thread this thing according to this 16 threads takes a 32 stud gear and a 64 screw gear so now I'm going to change that and set it up to thread kind of a funny story on this one I ground this bit I didn't have one of these little fish guys and I just copied the angle off of a piece of six-sided stock on a piece of paper and then made me a thing and I just barely had to touch it with a grinder I almost made it perfect just with guesswork but I lined it up got it all flat here according to the part got my gears changed checked everything again and I need 18 threads an inch so now I'm going to make my first little pass and see what happens. I touched off there. I set my uh, cloth slide here to uh, zero. I'm going to feed it with this. I've got it set at uh, 29 degrees. So I'm just going to go ahead and I think I can use even threads any number of marks, so I'm going to use numbers. There's two. And stop it. Alright. Don't look like I even hit it. Back this up. And I'll crank it back here. To where I want to go. Bring this back around to zero. Dial in five thousandths more on this. My two coming around. Well, now it's cut. And I'll stop it. 
passes it looks like it's a uh, pretty close at least I got a sort of pointy part on it I've got the nut here how about that nuts feeding on good my first thread success won't have much slop in it it's going to be much stronger than what I had before so could have made those a little tighter I took five thousandths off on that last pass and I probably should have took about three but anyway not a bad thread no burrs or anything my little tool I made cut good now I need to trim this to the right length cut that off and then try to make a flat shoulder on it and I can try to fix my cross light. I've only got this old cheapo tool post. I haven't had much luck with uh, cutting stuff off. One thing I did do, you know it has to be exactly on center and I don't know if you can see this or not. Let me see if I can take a photo of it. Well it didn't work really paper's not doing me much good either but what I did was I set this with a tailstock and then I just made a little tiny line right there on the uh, on the tailstock so I don't have to un unchuck anything I just run it up there to that little line it's perfect and then I can go back here and back this out a little more then I line it up again against the check for parallel and then I cut off and I had pretty good success with this but uh, that's too bad you can't see that line but it's it's right there and I just used a sharp tool on a cross light and just made a little line on the on the tailstock seems to work real good Anyway, see if I can part this thing off. Yeah, I'm having pretty good luck with this. I was trying cold roll steel and I was having no luck. It just kept chattering and squealing. Apparently on this drill rod, it's doing real nice. I usually oil it really good. I'm not doing it right now because I'm holding my camera with one hand, but uh, it's cutting really nice. Nice square chips coming off. I'm not going to take it all the way to the, the cut off. But, uh, I have good success with getting a good sharp tool and making sure it's dead center. Oops, there it just locked up. I just kind of goes too fast. I'm going to shut this off and see if it's what I'm doing. Well, that's about as far as I'm going to go. i got maybe a sixteenth of an inch left there, and I'm just going to cut it off with a hacksaw rather than take a chance on it. Hanging and tweaking something. And then I'll put a little grinding on it. Well, there we go. My old broken bolt. My new finished one. Uh, I'm going to pull a cross slide out now and see what I can uh, what I can do about grinding a, a radius on this thing so it'll fit tighter and. I think it's going to be much stronger than this old one. One thing, it's made a lot better metal, I can tell just by looking at it. 
and uh, once I get it all ground I think I'm going to harden that bolt and temper it so it'll be even stronger. Well, let's take it apart and see what happens. Now I loosen my Gibbs up and uh, got my cross slide off of here. Loosen up this bolt that I welded here. I'm just taking this apart. I can kind of see what that has to do. It looks like I could have had a much bigger shoulder on here. But my little bolt goes in. Uh, it looks like it's not going in far enough to clear the edges and turn get both hands and see what I got to do here. Yeah, you can see when I try to set this down in here, it's actually quite a bit bigger than the little slot. But you can see what I mean about having to make a concave surface. So what I'm going to do is try to grind the inside concave on this thing first and then try to get it to fit that slot. Well, I figured the uh, grinding hole is about the radius of that so that's the radius of the grinding wheel goes right in there and then I just ground a little bit off of that one edge to clear here but you can see that that's got a, a lot more surface than a flat bolt would have so now I'm going to see if it'll uh, go in and uh, I've got my little serp yep fit right in there and wonderful the slide turns so now I put a bolt on it and uh, tighten it up and see if I can break it actually what I'm going to do is temper it first and then see if I can break it. yeah there we go got a nice blue hardness it's not too brittle checked it and I can touch it with a fine tooth file so it's not real high carbon steel medium carbon but uh, I think that's probably a lot stronger than the piece that was in there now I'll just put it back together and see what happens I don't think I'm going to try to break it I'm just going to assume that it's going to be strong enough now there we go it's all back together spins all the way around nothing's grabbing I'll set it to 29 degrees and uh, tighten it up and see see what happens well, right away I found an interesting difference I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on here uh, and it just quit turning and the same amount of pressure this is the one I welded over here I loosened up but when it gets tight as I'm putting pressure on it, it's still moving. I can feel that the, the bolt is actually giving in there a little bit. And this one, same kind of pressure. It's It hit bottom, that's it. It ain't going anywhere. So, it looks like that's a, for sure a much better bolt than one that's broken and welded. So now that I've got my uh, vise all good and locked again, I'm going to go ahead and make another bolt here out of this other piece. Well, there's the end product of that one. I just kind of went by memory and ground a little off. Uh, it didn't take me long at all to make this one. Maybe 10 minutes. And I got a little bit of the shaft left. I hope this uh, drill steel is tougher than some of this other stuff I got. But anyway, I'm not going to take it apart now. But uh, I got me a spare bolt ready for the, for the cross slide. And I'll replace that other one. And things are good. So 
Pressing on with learning to run a lathe.